Hey guys, Rod Haydell. I promise you I'm not a knife nerd, but I went on a mission this year because one of my pet peeves is guys that use all sorts of different knives, you know, for trying to clean their birds. Deer knives, uh, you know, what have you, you know, patch knives. I've used all of these uh, in the past, a lot of customs here. Uh, so I went on a, a mission this year, like I said, to search out and find the ultimate knife for us waterfowlers. Unfortunately, unless you get into the custom side, most of these knives, or a lot of them, I found even the name, name brands that are in most of these stores are made in China. And, uh, but I ran across a knife that I really, really fell in love with. And uh, let me show you. This is from Smith Knife Company. They're made down in, in, in our part of the country down there where we duck hunt a lot. And um, it's a family owned company, just like ours. And uh, I'm gonna show you why I like this knife. Number one, it is a family-owned company, and the quality control is just awesome. This is a, a leather sheath that they make. Uh, it's got a clip on the back. This knife will come with a, a, either a leather sheath, which is kind of big, but uh, I, I do like it. It also comes with a, a Kydex uh, sheath here um, as an option, so you can get one or the other. This knife goes into this Kydex sheath and you can put pack it in your bag and not have any problem. It's very, very solid. That knife is not coming out unless you push your thumb right here on the, the sheath to pull it out. So, and the leather sheath, if you wanna wear it on your hip, packs in there real nice as well. So anyhow, let's get down to the basics. Why I like this knife so well. Number one, when you are breasting out a bird, you want to be able to get that tender that's underneath the, the breast meat of the, of the bird that lays next to the bone. So you want a real narrow or width blade right here. Obviously, you want a sharp blade. This blade right here, if you can see, if I can hold it to the camera, is really, really thin, and it's made razor sharp. Matter of fact, the metal on here, which is stamped, is an a a e b l. Um, I'm not a knife uh, metal guy, uh, other than I do appreciate uh, good metal in a knife. It holds an edge really, really well. It gets super, super sharp. Matter of fact, this particular metal, the AEBL, was designed originally um, back in the 60s for razors. So it is razor, razor sharp. And uh, the thing I like about this knife, it, it handles real well. You could get in there, run your, your knife along the bone, and you're using the shape of the blade right here, the belly of it, to cut for you. It, it, it's, it's effortless in, in using this particular knife. Um, I know guys that, that, that like a, a different style of knife, um, and I am going to offer this knife along with another. This is a, a rich-like material on the handle. This is uh, a stainless material and uh, comes with a little uh, deal so you can pull it out of the sheath. Let me show you this other knife that they offer as well. And I'm gonna, again, like I said, be a dealer of them. For those that like a little bit thicker blade, uh, this is called the Axiom. That was the shoal, this is the Axiom. It's a little bit bigger knife. Um, it's got the gimps on the, on the top of the blade. It's a little bit thicker blade. I could skin a deer with this, no problem. Um, so if you want an all-inclusive 
um, type nice knife that's handmade, great materials, made in the U.S., great quality control. I, I, I can't highly um, recommend this, this particular knife. Um, this is the two side by side so you can see them. Um, and uh, again, this Axiom comes in a, a different style sheath, leather sheath that you can use, or if you'd like, they do have a Kydex op op option. Can't speak this morning. And it comes with a little kit. Um, you can, the knife fits real well in there and you can mount it different ways depending depending if you want to wear it on your hip, you want it sideways, or straight up and down, even cocked at an angle. So anyhow, this is the Axiom, and there we go. Uh, clicks real nice into the, the sheath, and uh, again, I've tried this out, these knives out. I actually used uh, the Shoal um, just this past weekend and cleaned two turkeys with it, and... Uh, was very, very impressed. So anyhow, that's the offering that we're going to have at Haydell's this year. And um, if you're looking for the ultimate duck cleaning knife or all-around knife that you want something a little bit heavier that you can clean turkeys, deer, hogs, anything, I highly recommend the Axiom. Thanks.